Sponsored by RxCardClub.com. Get a free prescription drug card and save up to 85% on prescription drugs. RxCardClub.com, NCAA settlement that would allow colleges to pay athletes gets preliminary approval. A judge granted preliminary approval Monday to the $2.78 billion legal settlement that would transform college sports by allowing schools to pay players. U.S. District Judge Claudia Wilkin released an order setting a timeline for a deal that would put millions of dollars into the pockets of college athletes, who can begin applying for payment on October 18. A final hearing is set for April 7, 2025, the day that one of college sports' biggest moneymakers, March Madness, comes to a close with college basketball's national title game. If finalized, the deal would allow the biggest schools to establish a pool of about $21.5 million in the first year to distribute money to athletes through a revenue-sharing plan. Athletes would still be able to cut name, image and likeness deals with outside groups. Former college athletes from as far back as 2016 would be able to apply for their share of $2.576 billion set aside to help them recoup money they could have made from nil deals, which weren't allowed until 2021. We are pleased that we are one step closer to a revolutionary change in college athletics that will allow billions in revenue sharing, said plaintiff attorney Steve Behrman. The judge's approval comes 11 days after attorneys tweaked wording in the original settlement agreement to address Wilkins' concerns. The main change involved getting rid of the word boosters and replacing it with a better defined description of whose potential nil deals would be subject to oversight by a neutral arbitrator once the deal goes through. That did not, however, strike to the heart of the settlement, which sets up a revenue sharing arrangement between schools and athletes who, for decades, played for scholarships, a few expenses and little else, while coaches and athletic departments brought in millions. The $21.5 million figure comes from the 22% of average revenue that power conference schools generate through media rights, tickets and other sources. It will be recalculated periodically through the 10-year window the agreement covers. Not every school will chip in the full amount. Those that will are hurrying to find ways to replace what they'll pay out to athletes. They worry it could impact their overall sports programs, especially the non-revenue sports that play an outsized role in populating U.S. Olympic rosters. We are thrilled by Judge Wilkins' decision to give preliminary approval to the landmark settlement that will help bring stability and sustainability to college athletics while delivering increased benefits to student-athletes for years to come, said NCAA President Charlie Baker. Today's progress is a significant step in writing the next chapter for the future of college sports. In addition to Crete, in a payment system, the settlement sets up a framework to regulate future nil deals and replaces scholarship caps with roster limits.